Okay, Paul Smith, uh, tough afternoon in the East Midlands. It's finished Hellzone Town 3, Halton 3. What's your initial thoughts on that? Yeah, it had a bit of everything, didn't it, really? I think uh, the neutral and the fans would have, would have enjoyed it. Uh, a bit of a bombinger of a game. Um, real tough place to come. No disrespect, the pitch isn't, 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 isn't the greatest. Um, and a real, a real uh, close game, although I think um, we've had two three real good chances at three three to up to go four two and five two it would work twice but we probably should have should have put it to bed and you put that to bed then or you go four or five and it's done you know um, and then the kid's in absolute world he has on his, on his left foot to, 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 to get them a, a very late draw so we're, we're disappointed the boys are bitterly disappointed in there but like i said to them this, this, this is a tough place to come now so we drew continues um, and it's important we take the positives from that um, keep an eye on the walking wounded get ourselves in for two good training sessions and then Corby next week I think results are very similar at the top I think the other two have sort of dropped, dropped points as well so like I say there's lots of twists and turns still to happen we're disappointed because you can see that late to that kind of strike um, they're disappointed and rightfully so but uh, it's important to remain positive first half that saw 55 minutes of football do you think the players had an impact after playing that long in the first half to have to go again after? No, no, not at all. It was one of those that just happened with the, with the, with the, with the um, injuries that, that happened during that first half. So no, no qualms there. Like I say, it was um, it, it was always going to be a tough tough game here because they're a very hard working side. And I thought we matched them. But uh, well, right. uh, just our quality in the final third time takes down and, we, uh, and perhaps we give the support keeper enough to do. Uh, and put off. But like I say, it's a nice, very nice and positive. Uh, it's another point on the board, another point closer to what we're looking to get. And uh, with only a few more games left in the season, it's far all of pick up the points now. Can you see us picking it back up next week? Yeah, of course. Listen, there's nothing wrong with today's performance. It was a gritty, nailed on performance. And like I say, just for that bit of better finishing at 3 2 to go 4 2 or 5 2, the game's done. So yeah, it stuck a punch at the end, but we've got to remain positive. You know, there's eight games left, and like I say, there's three sides battling out at the very top to try and win promotion. And there's going to be some nerves, there's going to be some tough games to come. So I still anticipate there'll be drop points between now and the end of the season with all three of us. So um, yeah, it's crucial we stay nice and positive. That's a big key thing for me on the back of today's result and today's performance. That that we, we can't get too downbeat about it. We have to draw a line under it and move on to Corby next week. And some positives on the game. Richard Gregory scoring two again this uh, this week. And also Jack Owen seems to be picking up a bit of confidence as well. Yeah, massively. You know, it's probably not, not, not the pitch for the likes of Jack Holmes to be starting, um, but he made an impact coming off the bench. And like I say, he was the one that hit the rocket onto the bar. But it's, it's fine margins, isn't it? You know, we've had a strike from that uh, at that sort of distance, and we hit the crossbar. Their kids hit one from exactly the same colour of angle, and he's flew to the top corner. So, you know, it's that little bit of luck at times that, that, that we haven't found today. Um, but that said, it's another point, like I said, on the board. Um, we've got to stay nice and positive, get in on Tuesday, and get ourselves ready for Corby. And a final note, as I do every week. Um Big thanks to the fans for supporting this week. Brilliant again. Yeah, no. you know, they don't stop doing that. We've brought a coach and, and more down here. Um, and like I said, you know, although they're Hales Own fans, I hope they've really enjoyed that game because it was a bit of a humdinger from end to end and it could have gone either way. So, uh, yeah, brilliant support uh, again. They never stop singing and backing us. And let's hope that um, in eight games' time we can give them something to cheer about. Perfect. Thank you, Paul. Good man. Thank Cheers. you.